Hey everyone, today's video is the 2019 gift guide. I'm really excited about this video. It took quite a bit of research and perhaps a little bit of accidental shopping to prepare this video. There is also a video from last year which also has more great ideas. I tried to bring you something new but all those previous recommendations I still stand behind all of them and uh, yeah so you can find more ideas in last year's video if you're new here hi my name is Irit I do watercolor videos junk journaling mixed media all those good things please subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified whenever there is a new video so without further ado let's get started I have my big list here and I think I'll probably do maybe a separate video for my personal wish list so things that I would like to have but I'm not in possession of. The recommendations here for the most part are I think all of them almost are products that I have, I love, I've tried and so I can wholeheartedly recommend them and I think they will make great gifts. Just to emphasize a few things about what in my opinion makes a great gift. These are not necessarily my top favorite products that I use most often, but I think they are of great quality. I think they have that fun factor that is really nice to get them as a gift. Maybe the packaging has some certain, um, something extra to it, which to me is important when I gift something. And also this year, I'm trying to be more environmentally conscious. The products that I will be recommending are, as far as I know, um, these things sometimes are hard to find out, <laughs> like all the details, but as far as I know, are vegan. And also I would like to talk uh, probably more at the end of the video about uh, also supporting smaller businesses. So. I myself have uh, an online um, school where I teach classes of watercolors, mixed media, that, that sort of thing. And I also really enjoy supporting my fellow creators. So gifting something like that to me is kind of a win-win because you get a great gift and you're also supporting this one person that you know, you know maybe online or whatever. And um, yeah, that's really important to me now. Kind of spend my money in a way that, you know, not only brings me joy, but I also know that there's another person on the other side uh, that I'm helping make a living out of their uh, passion and everything. So all those things in mind. Um, the first thing I want to recommend as a gift, and it's actually something that I asked from a friend for my birthday, is kind of online education, sort of speak. The What I like about this as a gift is, first of all, it's the gift of knowledge. So that to me is kind of superior to any physical product, as great as that product is. Also, environmentally speaking, there's no packaging, there's no new product that had to be manufactured. So that is something that I also find very appealing. And my first recommendation in this um, category would be Skillshare. If you're not familiar with Skillshare, it's a huge teaching program, teaching platform. It has, um, that's probably one of the cons also in my opinion, is that it can be so overwhelming because it has thousands and thousands of classes. So you really need to know kind of what you're looking for and narrow it down and it's not that hard, I think, to find the really, really good stuff because a lot of the times they would be like the most popular classes, highly rated teachers, uh, and that sort of thing. I will list below everything that I'm talking about, all the links, some are affiliate. If you'd like to use them, I would really appreciate it, but of course you don't have to. And um, yeah, so don't worry if you miss anything, everything will be written below with more recommendations that I can include in this uh, one video. So Skillshare, I asked from a friend, an annual membership on uh, for Skillshare. It's, I would say, a relatively affordable present. I think they always offer kind of 40% 40, 40 off their annual memberships, which brings you to something 
I want to say around the $50, $60 for a year of access to all of their classes. I think that platform is particularly fitting to someone that has a lot of uh, different interests, maybe someone who also has a small business and also needs um, more information on how to work with social media and different softwares. There's everything on there. So I think that's a beautiful gift and I'm really excited to start my own membership. I was a member for a few months here and there when I felt like I could make the time to, um, to take full of advantage of all those courses. And yeah, I'm excited to get back into it. Now, another option for maybe the more kind of classical artist, maybe someone um, not so young at heart when it comes to social media and the pace of things. Um, I don't know, maybe someone who would feel a little bit overwhelmed with something like Skillshare. I would recommend the Artists Network TV. I know they offer gift cards and their annual membership, which includes access to hundreds of really well-made instructional videos that are kind of, I don't know, it's like a bit of slower pace, longer videos, really renowned artists. Whereas in Skillshare, you have a huge variety of teachers, which, you know, can be a good thing. But in the Artist Networks TV, I really find that the, um, the level is just high across the board. And if you have a person in your life that is, a watercolor artist, a mixed media artist, an oil painter. They really have everything, pastels, acrylics, all those things. Their annual membership is $200, so it is uh, a lot more pricey than Skillshare, and it doesn't have all the other stuff that Skillshare has, like social media and, you know, softwares and everything. You can find in Skillshare everything. Uh, it's more focused on artists, and it's... I also subscribed to their platform for several months and I thoroughly enjoyed it. They have artists like um, Gene Haynes and Dina Wakely and many, many, many more. Daniel Donaldson, really a great variety, highly recommended. Let's move on because this is getting too long. I want to recommend also using the fantastic tools that you have online when you're gifting your artist friend. Um, besides gift cards, which obviously, let's be real, that's going to make anyone happy. I mean, if someone gifts me some money to spend at Jackson's Art, yeah, I would love that. <laughs> but if you want to find uh, specific gifts, they also have uh, a gift guide at Jackson's. And I looked through it and it has, it's really well organized. You can um, narrow down things by media, by budget. Highly, highly recommend using that. And now for more specific um, recommendations. So the first thing, I'm gonna start with watercolors because that's my passion. I have to recommend the Jean Haynes set from Daniel Smith. This is a relatively new product. So, you know, it's new and exciting. And it includes a selection that she handpicked of watercolors, the smaller tubes from the Daniel Smith range. This isn't, um, a super affordable, a super cheap gift, but I think it's around 70 euros or something like that. But I think it's beautiful. What I like about it is that the colors she chose are unique and you really won't find them in any kind of other standard curated watercolor set. And that's why I really, really love this uh, particular set. It doesn't have and particularly exciting packaging, which is a shame. I really wish, you know, if you're a little bit into makeup and beauty, you probably know that every beauty brand comes out with all kinds of special editions, special products for the holidays. And I kind of wish, and also don't wish, that, um, you know, art supplies manufacturers did that because, you know, we want that. <laughs> those exclusive holidays, special editions. Um, it's just fun, especially for those of us who might have a rather wide, a rather large selection of art supplies. Anyway, moving on. So I really think that set is beautiful and it would make a beautiful gift to any 
a watercolorist. I would say it's probably a gift I would give to the enthusiast and up in you know their skill level. I wouldn't gift it to an absolute beginner. For a beginner, I would uh, probably pick another set that also included the palette. The set is only tubes of paint. Uh, but for someone who is already into watercolors, this is a fantastic gift. Staying in that realm, brushes. So I have two brush recommendations and they're both sets with which I think makes for a nice present. And one of them is by Skoda and it's Dalvaro Costaniet. For the life of me, I mentioned his name so in so many videos and still I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it correctly. Anyway, uh, his Skoda set has three beautiful brushes and they are more fitting to someone who paints on a larger scale with kind of a looser style and they're just beautiful. It's a relatively affordable set if I remember correctly and Escoda has several of these signature sets. Uh, some are more pricey usually because they have uh, animal hairs but the more affordable ones from synthetic hair are also fantastic. I have I think three different sets. I love them all and the most recent addition to my collection was the Alvaro set and it's just beautiful so I would think it would make a beautiful gift. Another brush set that I saw and I think would uh, be a lovely gift is from Da Vinci. They have a line called Casaneo, I want to say. Hopefully I'm not butchering that name. And it's a synthetic hair that is really, really soft and very similar to animal hair. And they have this beautiful set of three brushes, which also comes in an aesthetically pleasing box. I have a few of these brushes and they're beautiful. I have one travel size brush on my personal wish list, so <laughs> I really like them. And yeah, they're just beautiful and I think they would make a beautiful gift. My next recommendation is a set of pencils. This is kind of belongs to my realm of the best quality money can buy type of gift. These are the Calendash Museum Aquarelle pencils. Hopefully I did not mess that name up. And Calendash is a Swiss company. They make a variety of beautiful art supplies. And this is their line of watercolor pencils. I have two of these <laughs> because I really wanted to try them and see if it was worth the high price tag. I think it is if you don't have anything like that in your collection or you really want to gift someone kind of, you know, the best quality out there. I have the Faber-Castell Albrecht Dürer watercolor pencils, which I think are beautiful. I have some Prima sets, which are also fun. I have the Arteza set, which I think is fantastic for people on a budget. It works really well. There's something about the Calendash pencils, something about the way the pig pigment releases. Also their black, um, you know, pencil barrel is uh, very attractive, in my opinion. Something about it, I think they're just beautiful. They are expensive and that's why I think it would make a nice kind of luxury gift to someone. They have different sets so you can pick one according to your budget. Moving on to something this I think is fitting for maybe the more experimental artist in your life. Someone who enjoys trying out new products maybe that look a little bit different and I'm talking about the Vialco Artgraph range, um, specifically about their Taylor Shapes, which is based, the product based on the look of a Taylor chalk. These come separately, but I think a set would make a beautiful gift, and depending on your budget, you can go with a monochromatic set, which has a black, uh, graphite, and white, or the Earth Tone set, which has six lovely Earth Tones. These are really fun to use. I have several of them in my possession and they're just beautiful. The pigment is intense. When you wet it, it just releases. You can create really beautiful sketches with very um, gestural strokes and lines. And it's just a really, really fun product. You can also just use it with a brush and you know, a wet brush, a watercolor brush, because it is water soluble. 
this is a really fun product and I think it would just be fun to play with. They also have a few other things. They have like a graphite putty that just looks way too messy, even for me, and I don't mind getting messy, but I'm scared of that stuff. They have graphite powder. So they have a few kind of interesting products. Uh, I think these sets that I talked about would probably make the nicest gift, but you know, look around and see what more they, what they offer. Uh, they are from Portugal, and so especially if you're in Europe, this is probably easier for you to find, but they are available at Jackson's, which deliver worldwide. So I just thought I would mention that. Now, another beautiful gift, in my opinion, is this is still available at the time of filming this. I saw the small set at Jackson's, and I'm talking about the Faber-Castell Polychromos special 111th anniversary pencil set. It has this retro, beautiful tin box. And, you know, these are beautiful pencils. And I especially like the small one, just because I think it's cute and would also be nice for traveling. It's just a art supplies collector's dream. <laughs> no, it's something like really small, but it's also that, um, you know, having that special edition. If you are a collector, I'm guessing this, you know, will increase in value as time goes by and it becomes uh, unavailable. So if that's something that appeals to the person you're gifting to, that collector point of view, um, check that set out. They are relatively inexpensive and I don't know if all the sets are still available, but the small one I saw at Jackson's. Let's move on to pens. And this year I have to recommend the Caveco Kaweco. No, I want to say Kaweco because I think they're German. So they're pens. What I like about these is, first of all, they're small, at least the version that I'm talking about. They're really small and they're just beautiful. And they come in this beautiful uh, tin, metal tin, which just adds to the whole, you know, gift aspect of it all. I have the cheaper plastic version, but when I got mine in the shop, I did see their metal versions. And there's a gold rose one and a rose gold one. Do I need to say anything else? It's a gold, it's a rose gold pen. <laughs> it's beautiful. They have fountain pens. They also have rollerball pens if you're not sure what to get. Um, I have the kind of cheaper model of fountain pen and it's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful gift. If you have the budget, I would go for the metal ones. If you are on a tighter budget, then the plastic ones will cost you about 20 euros, 20 something dollars, something like that. If you do decide to get it and your budget allows, I would also include the converter, which allows you to kind of use whichever ink you want. So you're not limited to the kind of plastic cartridges. And if your budget allows even further, I would also get a nice bottle of ink. There are a ton of inks out there. I really like the uh, Rohrer and Klinger sketching inks. I think the packaging is really appealing. Probably maybe for someone more into sketching, urban sketching, younger at heart. And then if you want something a little bit more classy, a beautiful glass bottle, the Edelstein Pelican inks are beautiful. All these things that I mentioned now in this pen category are easier to get in Europe because they are made in Germany but it is available worldwide. So if you're in Europe, this is a great gift, but you can also find these worldwide and um, they are readily available as far as I know. Uh, I wanna give kind of an honorable, honorable mention to Etsy. The reason I'm a little bit reluctant to recommend a specific product is because small shops on Etsy are not very reliable for understandable reasons when it comes to stock. Nobody wants products sitting in their house. Obviously they make things in smaller quantities and it's just, I don't wanna recommend something that nobody can get. But I would like to suggest for your, if you're on the hunt 
for some special watercolors. Etsy, it's a really, it, Etsy is a great place to find some handmade watercolors. You can find a lot of smaller sets which will have maybe a unique kind of color scheme or theme to them or specialty watercolors with shimmer and all kinds of beautiful things. I will leave you some recommendations below. I also want to mention that handmade watercolors are a little bit of a gamble. This is not a major company that has, you know, really great quality control. You don't always know that the product you're getting is always consistent in quality and performance. So do keep that in mind. And, you know, a lot of these shops, they can't really test everything for light fastness in the way that major brands can. So, you know, there's a little, a few things here to consider. You are supporting a small business, which is great, but maybe the product that you're getting, you don't, the person making it doesn't really have the tools and possibility to kind of quality control and test everything like a, a major manufacturer can. So I just want to mention that. And you can find beautiful things on Etsy. You can get handmade journals. Again, I will list below some recommendations. If things are out of stock, I do apologize, but make sure you follow these people on social media and you know, they always post when they are restocking and when there's something new coming up, sales and all those sorts of things. Books. I really wanted to recommend some books, but for some reason, I really found it challenging this year. I don't know. I couldn't. I have some books that I'm really enjoying, but uh, I've only seen them in German. So I don't want to put a recommendation for something that nobody can find or read. I would hate that as a viewer. So I'm not doing that to you. Um, If you are in Europe and you do speak German, I might list some of those below uh, just because I really, really enjoy them. But yeah, I don't know. I kind of, um, I found it a little bit challenging to recommend books. I did recommend several last year. Um, one uh, artist that kind of came to my attention only recently mentioned her in my Japan Hall is Yuko Higuchi. She's a Japanese artist. She has fantastic art and she has a lot of really inspiring books. They're more of inspiration books. They're not a step-by-step, -step, um, you know, tutorial, instructional type of books. But if you like that style, check her out. It's really fun stuff. I think we're done here. So thank you for sticking with me through this. Um, Stay tuned for my personal wish list video. I have a few things that I haven't tried and would love to try. So that's coming up soon. Maybe you'll get more gift ideas from those, but those are products that I don't personally know. So I can't say they're great. I'm just curious because they look fantastic. Leave me a comment. Tell me if you have some of your own gift ideas. I know I would love to read it and people who read the comments would love to read it. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, share it with your partners if you want. Some of the stuff that I mentioned, you know, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, know what I mean? And yeah, I wish you a wonderful holiday season. I'll be here with videos every week and I'll see you in another one very soon. Bye-bye.